In North America, there's only one scorpion that is dangerous to humans, and that is the Arizona bark scorpion. It is a very small scorpion, just a couple inches in length, and it is the only one that produces an envenomation syndrome in humans. Scorpion venom is very complex. There are many, many different components in it. There's really only one component that seems to be dangerous to humans, and those are neurotoxins. When you are stung by a scorpion, you won't necessarily develop uh, envenomation. So many people are stung and they really don't have any effects. The most common symptom is pain and it's usually a burning pain. We sometimes say that if you tap on the site of the sting, you can cause an electric shock like jolt to go up the person's extremity. The next most common would be what we call a grade two scorpion sting where the pain is not only localized to the site of the sting, but it can spread throughout the body. However, there are people or populations that are more at risk of having severe effects. Very young children and infants, when stung by a scorpion, are more likely to have a severe envenomation. And sometimes we see more severe effects in older people. The neurotoxic envenomation that can occur is usually categorized as a grade three or a grade four sting. The most pronounced thing is what we sometimes refer to as neuromuscular hyperactivity or agitation. It's very impressive in a very young child. People have trouble controlling their airway and breathing well because there's a lot of extra secretions, a lot of extra saliva being produced. And because of the uncoordinated muscle movements, they can't necessarily swallow effectively. Other symptoms that we see are roving eye movements. We refer to it as opsoclonus, where the eyes are actually sort of moving around in different directions. And that is a very unusual clinical sign. So when we see opsoclonus in Arizona, we almost always think scorpion sting. Scorpion envenomation is not an allergic reaction. And we've actually seen some, some adverse outcomes as a result of patients treating their scorpion sting with an epinephrine pen. If someone was to have a severe envenomation and present to an emergency department in Arizona, they are uh, candidates for receiving the antivenom. And the antivenom works by binding to the venom in the blood and then inactivating it. So the antivenom is essentially antibodies against scorpion venom. So can you die if you're stung by a scorpion? I have to say yes because it is possible and it has occurred, but I will say that it is extremely, extremely rare and unlikely. If you are stung by a scorpion, I first would recommend calling the Poison Control Center. The Poison Center is highly skilled at talking you through the next steps depending on the symptoms you're having. Most people are never going to need to seek medical attention because the stings are very mild.